billionaire Li Xiaoqi doesn't do things halfway. His company, Henderson Land, developed what once claimed to be the most expensive apartments in the world. And his family recently paid a record price for a single home site on Hong Kong's world-famous peak. His latest high-priced development is in trouble. 80% of transactions at 39 Conduit have been canceled. And now Hong Kong authorities are investigating those sales. But the billionaire Lee remains defiant. We won't be cutting prices. Maybe we'll make more money when we sell these apartments again. Analysts say he's counting on rich Chinese mainlanders who have the cash to buy. But together with record low interest rates, Hong Kong's home prices have soared nearly 40 percent since the end of 2008. Betting his money on the luxury sector is quite a change for Lee, who made his name back in the 60s and 70s building small apartments in Hong Kong. You know, at that point, they converted a lot of their agricultural land at a very good point in the market, whereby it allowed them to sort of like build very large scale projects. But as the government tightens lending for luxury properties and a potential interest rate hike in the future looms, the real question is, will real estate investors continue to support Lee's ambition to develop the world's most luxurious properties? If you talk about sort of the long-run integration, you know, between Hong Kong and China, it has to be positive for Hong Kong. I think the tricky aspect for most of the developers is that, you know, how do you sort of balance the longer-term structural sort of opportunities with the shorter-term cyclical challenges? We'll soon see just how much confidence developers likely have in the luxury market. In less than a month, the government will be auctioning off another site on Hong Kong's world-famous peak. Philip Yen, Bloomberg News, Hong Kong.